Hey folks, so we are here at the Seven Corners outside of Arlington, Virginia, um, close to Annandale, Great Falls area. Anyway, so it's a shopping center full of Asian markets. My favorite. Can't wait to come and see what they have. Hopefully I can find some amazing uh, items. After this, uh, we're gonna go see uh, another spot, another Asian market area. Specializes in Korean food, so we'll see. All right, follow along. Oh, this place is huge. Didn't it? Yeah, this place is actually very, very big. This place is huge, y'all. All right, so we're in here. We are in here, the uh, Good Fortune Supermarket Group. Uh, sorry, I had to look at the sign. I wasn't sure how it said. Anyway, take a look at this place. It's huge. This is only half of it. This place is huge. Uh, all right, while we're in here, let's see what the weirdest thing we could find is. All right, so let you know I'm using the new G7X Mark III, the Canon G7X Mark III, and uh, I just got it. Um, I've noticed it does have a lot of issues to it, so we're gonna see what those issues are on this footage. All right. Yeah. Oh, I love these. You like almond cookies? I like almond cookies. I got some frozen turmeric. I don't think I've some tom yum. Wow. Banana uh, uh. It's different. Well, look at that. You can get a car in your. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that is. But it's got, huh? Okay. Under the last one. Yeah. Like, I don't know what that is. Some kind of milkfish. Well. Look. Look how big this avocado is. Avocados. Look at this thing. And what are these? Wow, I think you know what they're called. They're, they're star fruit. Star fruit. Huh. Tasty. These are my favorite over here. The pears? The Asian pear? pear? Asian pears or pear apples are really good too. Yali pear? So good. Mandarin. The what? It's not that pear smart. No? All right. Oh, golden pear. Papaya. Golden pear. Two for five ninety nine. It is. It's a green radish. Korean radish right there. Yum, yum, yum. You know, some of these things you just can't find anywhere else. And it all looks very fresh. It does. I've never seen Chinese coffee. Crazy. That flowery thing. What is this thing? Oh. No idea. Me neither. I don't have to bring a Korean for me to understand that. I think so. All right. Chinese cauliflower. It's different texture. It's a, it's really neat. Fish balls with scallions. This is so cool. All this ramen, look at all this ramen. Look at that. 
Mm. I mean, there's a ton of it. A ton. Different flavors. It's just a ton. Miso ramen. All different packets. More ramen. More noodles. More. You know, I found anytime I want to get any good meat, sometimes I can get the best kind of meat at a Chinese or an Asian or uh, Korean or I just said Asian, so an Asian place. Um, but I don't think I've ever looked for lamb stomach. I've never looked for halab lamb feet either. But it's here. Kind of neat. Beef short ribs. They're cheaper here, so. I know you can't see it back there, but it's $7.98 for that backpack. At home, that'd be like, I don't know, 15, 20 bucks or so. Oxtail, you know, that we can get that anywhere nowadays. Pretty good. Pork femur bone. Okay. Neck bone. Oh, so good. Pork skin. Yum. Okay. All kinds of good stuff here. Chinese brand bacon. Yum. All right, so it's a little popular in here. We've got uh, pork ribs. Okay, we're in the pork section, so yeah. Pork belly is one of my favorite porks. I like, I do like a pork belly, and nice price here. It's only $9.34 for that big pack. Pork kidney, pork liver. I'll pass on that today. I don't need that. Pork tongue. I don't know how those cameras pulling up, but I'll pass on that too. Pork stomach. Mm-hmm. So, okay. We need the uh, chicken hearts. I like chicken hearts. I grew up in West Virginia. I eat a lot of gizzards. Chicken gizzards, yeah, I like that. Pork, the chicken heart was actually one of my favorites. Okay, I don't know what black chicken is. I've heard of it. Now that makes me wonder what it is. Fresh baby chicken. Okay. Uh, chicken neck, everybody knows that. Turkey gizzard, yum. Yeah. All right, so we're in the chicken section. So, folks, this place has it all. You need it, you want it, come get it. It's good. Fat ground pork, some chicken feet. All right. Wow. Oh, how about this? How about this? How about this? What is this? What is, oh my gosh, that's a, oh, that really is uh, cuttlefish. Okay. Okay. Squid. Wow. We're in Northern Virginia. I don't know where they caught these or where they brought these in from, but beltfish. Okay. Don't know what type that is. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Huh? Wow, lots and lots and lots of fish. Hello. Lots and lots and lots of fish. All right. You know, with all those fish here, I would think it smells extremely fishy. Now it's pretty good. Sea bass. A lot of people like sea bass. Not me. Not for me. I hate fish. Uh, a lot of Asian foods that we eat have a lot of fish flavor into that. I'm okay with the fish flavor to make this, to make it. As for the fish itself, no thank you. I am not involved in that. Um, looking here, I'm cook, cutting up a salmon. I hope he's okay with me doing this. Cutting up some salmon. It's a, uh, it's a good, I guess that's about one of the only fishes I will eat. So... Yeah. 
Took the bone out. Look at that. The precision. Hmm. Awesome. Keep going on through here. This place has everything, folks. It has it all. If you just want the heads, come get the head. I mean, if you want some uh, head-on shrimp, they got the head-on shrimp here. Uh, some live yellow snail. I don't know how live that is, but uh, I think it's dead. All right. Oh, wow. Look here. Yeah, yeah. Look at this bad boy. Oh, this bad boy is ready. Okay. So this place is pretty packed. It's ready to go. People are hungry. This is where they come to get their food. Oh, I've seen these. I've never, a geoduck. I have friends of mine that lived in uh, Seattle area that would, that would get some of those. Then go to the beach and get them. Kind of neat. So we're at the end of shopping here today um, at this store. Nothing really stood out to me as being the weirdest, the most elaborate. I mean, looking at the lobsters and such of them in such a small tank, yeah, I wasn't happy about that. Of course, I want them to be in a better living condition, of course. Um, you know, I've had a good time. It does have an aroma. The mask is helping if you're not used to it. But that's just the fish and that's some of the other meats and such and the vegetables and such that's in here. Uh, I got used to looking at you here in this camera. Anyway. One thing I did notice that is never seen before, never even heard of, is artichoke tea. Never in my life have I ever thought of having artichoke tea. But it's um it's here. You know, I recommend it. I do. You need it, they probably have it. So we're gonna continue shopping around today. We're gonna go to other places. Follow along. We'll see you there. Lots of fish, cultural seeds. Oh, radio station. <laughs> All right. Can't really read it there. Tasty food. I'm gonna get this here. I'm definitely. I'm gonna get the pineapple. The pineapple bun. Try that out. So, this is the. Can y'all read that? The Kim Fung Bakery. Kim Fung Bakery. Great Falls, Virginia. The Eden Center. Okay, let's get this. So we had some technical difficulties, but I'm ready to take a bite out of this. All right. Yes, my hands are clean. As much as I'm... Ooh, what is that? Mm. 
I don't taste any pineapple. <laughs> taste? Good, man. Here. Give it a Mikey, he eats everything. Mm. Wanna taste it? Mm -hmm. Listen. It's good. I was trying to get a second bite with the custard on it. Oh, there's a cream filling. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get on the second bite. I like it. Mm -hmm. I it's don't good. taste much pineapple, but it's good. Yeah. It's more vanilla than pineapple. Yeah. Mm. I like that. Yeah, you got the cream there. I got the cream there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. But not pineapple. No pineapple. So here in this complex here, you can basically find any kind of Asian uh, cuisine that you're looking for. Um, trying to find better light. Yeah, you can find any basic, uh, anything Asian. You can pretty much find some pho's. You can find some um, Taiwanese food. You can find some uh, Chinese. You can find some a little bit of Saigon. That's a lot of stuff here. Kind of neat. I think we'll definitely be here again when it comes to produce. The produce at that, at that uh, grocery store was amazing. You got to see a part of it. I just could not film all of it. It was just too much. Um, thanks for spending some time with us. Can't wait to see what we can get into our next time. Um, sure wish you could follow along. All right. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks. We'll see you soon.